Hi there, welcome to Review My Cigar. My name's Darren. We're going to be looking at a Rocky Patel Edge today. I'm pairing it with a Woodford Reserve that's the double oaked. Um, so that's going to be a good, good pairing. The Toro that's a 52 ring gauge and it's the six inch. It's supposed to be about an hour and a half smoke, so we're going to see how we get on with that. See how we get on with the, the flavours. Um, it's supposed to be a good cigar, and if I'm honest, it was probably my second or third cigar I ever smoked, and they are actually a good cigar. I've had about three boxes, probably about halfway through my third box. The box I've taken my cigar out of today is a 2020, so it's got three years of age in my humidor. Um, Sorry, no it hasn't. It's actually got uh, about a year and a half age in my humidor. Um, it's a 2020 box and the boxes, I believe they are aged five years in the box. Um, so let's, um, let's cut and light this. I'm going to be uh, cutting it with a, a V cutter today. As I prefer smoking with a V cut to be honest. And the label, we've just taken the label off. That's um, off the foot of the cigar. And um, inside the label, um, I will show you guys that now. So it's got quite a nice inscription there. Lots of smoke straight straight from the start. Taste, it's really good. Cedary, leathery. Little bit of spice on the retro hail, but very, very, very minute. I'm not a, I'm not a lover of spicy cigars. Um, but that's that's a that's good. That's a very good start. That is, that, is, that is a good start. I think I feel a bit of coffee as well. It's a good stick. Um, I mean, in the UK, that's where, we hit, that's where we are here now. You're looking about £22 uh, for one of these. That's the Toro size. Um, so it's, uh, it's not the cheaper sticks, but it's, I think it's a good price from what it's from what you get out of it um, I mean it's the oily dark wrapper um, it's got a lot of good construction I did have a feel and there was no hard spots it just felt like it was quite nice the cap on it was very good um, it was it was just it just looks like um well-made cigar they do come in a quite a nice box that's um, this is a wooden box that um, can boxes of 20 um, so um, let me smoke this and um, I'll catch you after the first third welcome back so we're with we're at the first third now. Um, earlier on, I did say it was a medium to strong. I'd say it was closer to the strong side now. Haven't had one of these for a while. Um, still got some good taste. Um, spice is it's come. There's a little bit more of a presence of the spice. Um, Pepper, still cedar and leather. Um, coffee, there's there is a hint there. There is a hint there. <clears throat> um, I did have to touch it up um, as it was a little skew if, but it wasn't that bad. But 
it's smoking quite well. The smoke, um, lots of smoke, it's, um, it's smoking really well. Um, so just to let you guys know, future videos, we will be uh, doing sort of at least two videos a week. Um, it will be a regular thing. We are going to be doing some um, travels, um, visiting different places, all cigar related, um, and hunting for cigars um, in other countries. So please subscribe and, uh, and like. Please comment on the video, see what you think. Um, if there's cigars out there that you'd like me to try, feel free to drop us a message and um, we'll see what we can do. It's smoking very well. I think this would also pair well with a with a beer as well. Um, yeah, let's see how we get on with the second third, and um, I'll let you guys know what I think. Welcome back. So that's the second third now, and um, the, it's been pretty consistent all the way through. The um, a little bit more spice, leather, cedar, pepper. Um, it's it's a consistent cigar so far, um, and it's a good smoke. You're definitely a full body cigar. Um, let's uh, let's see how we get on towards the end. Welcome back. We're coming up to the end of the uh, the last third now and I have had to touch it up again um, so that's twice now I've touched it up um, it doesn't bother me so much when I have to touch the cigar up if the cigar's good and you know it's got a good construction it's not the end of the world but obviously it's better if you don't touch it up um, so I don't know how you guys feel about that drop a message in the comments Definitely a, definitely a full bodied cigar this. Um, this actu cigar actually, um, in 2015, actually did win or come seventh, I can't remember which one it is, in the Cigar Aficionado. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a good stick and Rocky Patel sells a lot of these. I think it's one of the most popular sticks that they produce. And um, but it's it's for a seasoned cigar smoker, somebody that likes a lot um, <clears throat> a lot of flavours on the retro hail. It's it's not overpowering, but if you're not used to smoking a cigar or you're not a somebody that likes a medium or full body bodied cigar somewhere in the middle, it's it would be a bit strong for you. But I don't particularly go for really strong cigars, but. It's a strong cigar, so medium to strong, yeah. So I'm um, I'm going to say, any comments? Um, please feel free. Please subscribe and like to the channel. <coughs> we are a new channel. Um, this is actually going to be our first video. So if there's anything, any recommendations or anything people want to put, um, always open to uh, content. And um, I'll uh, say cheers and um, see you in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you again.